Hello, I'm Evan Recksteiner, and this is a showcase of the games that I worked on uh, 2016 to 2017. The first game that we're going to start out with is called You Can't. I did it for the Values at Play assignment in my interactive media class. It's a platformer with where you get a randomly assigned gender, and that gender jurisdicts what platforms you can jump on. Boys can only jump on blue, girls can only jump on pink. Um, the only exception to this is when you're asked a question in game, and then depending on where you jump is how you answer. They're stereotypical questions for either gender, uh, or I guess the answers are stereotypical. Uh, but you also have the option to refuse, and depending on how you answer, changes um, which ending you get. So if you go against the curve, with the curve, um, for both genders. So it's a total of about five endings. Uh, the next project, um, which was made in the same game making utility as you can't, um, is called Daydream. Daydream is a top down action adventure. Um, I started it last year and I worked on it throughout the summer and I've been kind of doing bits here and there throughout the year. I've been working out storyboarding for classes and um, honestly just trying to make it as polished as possible. The way it plays is as an action RPG, you go around whacking things. The thing that makes this different than a lot of action RPGs out there is you can reflect projectiles back at your enemies and it plays more like a bullet hell where there's just projectiles everywhere and your one defense is to hit them back at enemies. I find it's fun for puzzles and for um, the actual gameplay. Last but not least, we have Love Bunny, the game I made for a scholarship to teach um, teenagers about consent and dating violence. Um, it's a point and click visual novel where you learn how to gauge relationships with um, different characters, how intimate a relationship can go, and how to respect other people's boundaries. Uh, it's made in Unity, and um, I use a plugin called Fungus. Um, it's a very short game, but it teaches its values, and I'm very proud of it just as I'm very proud of the other games I've worked on this year as well. Thank you for watching, and um, I plan on working on the Daydream game in my own spare time this summer, and hopefully one day you see it on Steam uh, Greenlight or Steam Direct. Thank you.